Louis XVI style, also called Louis C's, is a style of architecture, furniture, decoration, and art which developed in France during the 19-year reign of Louis XVI, 1774 to 1793, just before the French Revolution. It saw the final phase of the Baroque style, as well as the birth of French neoclassicism. The style was a reaction against the elaborate ornament of the preceding Baroque period. Decoration and art since the mid-17th century, and partly from a desire to establish a new beau ideal, or ideal of beauty, based on the purity and grandeur of the art of the ancient Romans and Greeks. Louis XVI himself showed little enthusiasm for art or architecture. He left the management of these to Charles-Claude Flahout de la Belladerie, the Count of Angeviller, who was made Director General of Buildings, Gardens, Arts, Academies, and Royal Manufactories. In the early part of the reign of Louis XVI, interior decoration was designed to overwhelm the viewer with its scale, majesty, and opulence. Grand halls served multiple purposes, for theater entertainments, balls, or banquets. An example of the early Louis XVI style is the dining room of the Château de Maisons, rebuilt between 1777 and 1782 by François-Joseph Belangy for the Comte d'Artois, the brother of Louis XVI. This dining room, inspired by grand style of Louis XIV and Louis XV, it features columns of the giant order, inches, frontons, consoles, sculpture in relief, and a gigantic fireplace. Later in the reign, the tendency shifted to smaller, more intimate and comfortable salons, studies, dining rooms and boudoirs, as the cabinet door of Marie Antoinette at the Palace of Versailles, 1783, and the boudoir of Marie Antoinette at Fontainebleau, in the Pompeian style, 1785. The style also was frequently used in friezes and cameos, in medallions, and in white on blue wedgewood porcelain. In the later years of the Louis XVI style, the decorative panels were divided into often geometric divisions, either circles or octagons. The boudoir of Marie Antoinette at the Palace of Fontainebleau in the Pompeian style, 1785. Louis XVI style furniture, particularly the furniture made for the royal palaces, is among the most finely crafted and valuable ever produced in France. The chairs of the early period made for Marie Antoinette were richly decorated gilded carvings, usually with floral patterns. The chairs and sofas were usually upholstered in satin, with more elaborate medallions embroidered in silk attached. Later in the period, more exotic themes, often taken from popular theater productions in Paris, appeared in decoration of furniture. These included Chinese, Arabesque, and Etruscan figures. A variety of specialized pieces of furniture were created, including lightweight chairs for men sitting at gambling tables, and specialized chairs for boudoirs, dressing rooms, libraries, and antechambers. The beds, especially in the chambers de parade or ceremonial bedrooms of the royal palaces, were of monumental proportions and were usually separated from the rest of the room by a balustrade. These beds were termed a la duchesse, and featured an ornate canopy over the bed. The sculpted and gilded wood frame of the silk embroidered canopy over the bed of Marie Antoinette at Fontainebleau, installed in 1787, was so heavy that two additional columns were placed under it at night avoid its collapse.
The Royal Tapestry Workshop of Gobelins continued to produce high-quality large works for royal residences and the nobility, but tastes had changed. Hand-painted wallpaper had been used since in the 16th century for interior decoration, followed by wood block prints. All I can say, thank God we have peel and sick wallpaper. In the antechambers and lesser rooms, they often used painted or printed of painted paper designs imported from China, India, and especially England. Another popular style that developed during the period was the decoration of rooms with panoramic scenes, composed of a number of painted or printed panels put together. These were commonly used in boudoirs and bath chambers. Another popular form of decoration was printed fine cotton, with elaborate arabesques and floral patterns. The most famous variety was Toile de Joey. The fabric was made with wood block prints, was usually white and red or blue and red, was used to cover beds, for curtains, and for the covers of furniture. Elizabeth V.G. Lebrun was noted for her portraits of the royal family and nobility, including of Marie Antoinette and her children. The most prominent neoclassicist by far was Jacques Louis David, whose works well before the revolution expressed the Roman virtues of noble and grave simplicity. The painting was so popular when shown at the Salon of 1785 that David was permitted to establish his studio in Louvre, a particular honor for artists. This painting became a model of the style that dominated French art during and after the Revolution. Sculpture evolved from the more animated forms of the Baroque art to the more serene neoclassical style. Another important industry was that of the manufacture of silk products. Lampa's silk coverings with motifs of arabesques and medallions covered the walls of the billiards room of Marie Antoinette in 1779, and thereafter became fashionable in Paris residences. In an attempt to show their understanding of the resentment of the common French people, the rich people began to favor furniture that was less frivolous. Thus, the colors of Louis XVI furniture tended toward the pastels with lots of neutrals, which was different from the previous eras. Initiated by the transition style, the return towards antiquity was deepened and definitive with the Louis XVI style. <laughs>